A date for the biggest fight of a generation, Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua, is expected to be confirmed later this week, according to Eddie Hearn. The venue to decide the undisputed heavyweight world champion is expected to be in Saudi Arabia, taking place by August at the latest. Everybody knows that it's very likely the fight's heading to the Middle East. I mean, you've got so many different characters involved in this fight, some not particularly involved but still have comments to make. Bob Arum is not the best of keeping secrets. He was out talking to ESPN at the weekend. We're just keeping our head down, really. I mean, we're in a really strong position where, as we know, both fighters have signed a contract to fight. Both fighters have now agreed to an offer from a site. Um, loads of calls at the weekend and again last night to finalise the, the, the final contract, long form, for the site. End of July, early August, absolutely. There are the three dates in particular. Um, the city has been identified as well, so we're in a good place. I bumped into Tyson Fury in Vegas, he reassured me that he was all in on this fight, so I'm really confident and you know, I can't speak from their side, but the calls last night were with their lawyers as well, with Tyson Fury's lawyers, just getting this long form agreement for the site in place to, to move forward. Yeah, I think you said it's, it's as done as it can be. It is, I mean it's never done until the ink is dry, but it's... Now, there's no obstacles really to overcome other than just finalise the paperwork and get this thing announced. Now, Hearn insists these so-called Big Six owners underestimated the power of supporters in this country when trying to break away with the Super League last week. Hearn watched on in amazement and has labelled the breakaway clubs as arrogant. In this situation, there were owners that just don't understand there's certain things you don't mess with. And football and football fans and history, you know, and, and the, the grassroots of a football club are things that you just, you don't go there. So if they'd come to you to say, can you sell this for us, you'd have said, well, I we can't. Can, of course I can sell it, I can sell anything. And, and it wouldn't be difficult to sell the Super League with the mm. clubs involved. But what it takes away is, you know, that, that tribalism, that, that passionate from, from the supporter, who is ultimately the business of that football club. And it was done, it was almost like it was done on the back of a, a, a post-it note. I think these clubs are going to find it very difficult to recover in terms of you know, the, the PR, their relationship with fans, their trust from fans, because while those people are in power, mm. no one will really trust them. Because let's be honest, if they could have got away with it, they would have done it.